glittering white, shining blue, raven black, the land looks like a fairy tale. Pinnacle after pinnacle, peak after peak crevassed, wild as any land on our globe, it lies, unseen and untrodden. It is a wonderful feeling to travel along it. Roald Amundsen Hi, my name is Inga and this is Alma of Freya. In 2026, me and a small crew are going to sail through the Northwest Passage. The Northwest Passage connects the Atlantic Ocean with the Pacific Ocean through the Arctic. It was first transited by the Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen in 1906. And now, 120 years later, we're following in his wake on board Alma Freya, a replica of Amundsen's original ship, Jura. Well, the Northwest Passage is uh, almost as much a challenge today as it was 100 years ago. More people have uh, been to space than sailed through the Northwest Passage. Next level uh, in sailing. This is not like the rest of the world. It's much colder, there is ice. If uh, the water is still and you have like uh, two millimeters of ice, you will cut your boat in half. So you can plan everything, and, uh, but the weather is deciding. It's just an area where, where the ice conditions are quite dramatic. And this is an area where ice get packed in. If you're unlucky, you can be stuck up there for three years. And uh, if you're locked in the ice, you have to stay. It's going to be rough for sure, but, but it's also going to be so great to experience these areas that so few people actually see. Is the possibility to do something a very few people has done because it's really, it's really hard, it's rough. I uh, always thought that that was impossible, but uh, when I saw Alma for sale, I thought this could actually be possible. Like how many people can say that they've sailed through the Northwest Passage, it's so cool. Uh, going through the Northwest Passage is not something you just decide and you go. You need to be uh, fully prepared, the boat needs to be prepared, the crew needs to be prepared. Amundsen spent uh, about three years in uh, preparing the ship and the uh, crew. So this is what we do now these three years. We, uh, we prepare the boat, we prepare the crew and we uh, gain experience from polar waters. So this winter this boat got a copper ice sheeting they call it. It's uh, around the bow of the boat. And we will be testing and working together for the next uh, two to three years. Uh, so everyone needs to be able to cook, everyone needs to be able to hoist the sails and everyone needs to be able to handle uh, Alma. We went on a 10 day trip up north. We got glued together, we got a really good crew, good atmosphere on board. Being on Alma, you, you live very close to the rest of the crew. I mean, you don't have your own cabin. We only have like bunks in the walls of the boat. So, so you get to know people really well. So uh, it doesn't matter if you're, you're a permanent crew or a guest or a cameraman, you still be a part of the group. We uh, appreciate each other's different competences. We all need each other. So one got a medical background. No one is uh, expert in navigation. Other is expert in sailing techniques. And uh, one, of course, have to be an expert of cooking food. And we are only as strong as our weakest link. So when Amundsen left, there were seven guys in a boat like this. And they live with the Inuits for three years and they learn to dog sled and they learn to dress properly. So the approach was completely different. He learned many things from the Inuit and uh, they were a great inspiration. 120 years after Amundsen, we will return to Jöahavn and continue the cultural exchange with the locals. Also, since there is uh, not uh, a lot of people up there, we can do some important uh, scientific uh, work. Polar exploration is ex extremely important today because of the changes in climate and other issues. Like for instance, monitoring microplastics through the passage. We hope that some universities or scientific institutions want to join us in this project. Amundsen's expedition was the first to transit uh, the Northwest Passage, having uh, done so in 1906. Uh, so Norway became an independent nation, and uh, this was hugely important for Norwegian identity, and, and it still is. 
There has never been a Norwegian ship sailing through the Northwest Passage since Amundsen because of these conditions. We are very excited about this idea and also that a wooden ship made a replica of you is doing it. You know, it's, it's a huge part of Norwegian identity, the, our polar experiences. We also hope to uh, inspire uh, other uh, people to follow their dreams and think that uh, anything is, uh, is possible. Uh, our plan is to, uh, to show it to the world. Hello, my name is Håkon. This is Alma. To bring the people with us so they can see how it's like to sail the Northwest Passage. Our expedition is going to be a unique and once-in-a-lifetime adventure. We will follow in Amundsen's wake, conducting important scientific research, cultural exchange, and inspiring a new generation of Arctic explorers. If you want to help us complete this uh, expedition and uh, honor Amundsen's uh, work and discovery, we have several opportunities for you to be involved. Thank you for watching. Please follow us on our adventure and I hope to see you on board someday. We see many fine sunsets here, unique in the splendor of their color. No doubt the surroundings in this fairy land of blue and white do much to increase their beauty.